even after Converse had convinced Magic and Bird to film a sneaker ad together in the summer of 85, a question remained. How would the two hated rivals on the court get along off of it? I don't know how he's going to react. I don't know how I'm going to react. We didn't even shake hands, so how are we going to do a commercial together? The ad was to be filmed at the home Bird had built for his mom. It featured a full-length basketball court, the day's first location. So they say, okay, you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm looking at Larry, and he's looking at me like, is this real? Are we playing, playing? Because, you know, this, this, is, this is magic and bird. I could just hear Larry, you know, starting in on, well, you bring it to the basket, I'm going to send it 30 rows up. So the guy was like, no, no, not like that. A fun game, we were both like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> like you can see this relief coming over both of our faces. That brief detente led to the next stage, dialogue. We sat down next to each other. I was just something. Oh, it's going good. How was yours? It's going great. I said, man, it's a nice spread you got. He's asked me, is this where you play? I said, yeah, I play here if it's not windy. If it's raining or windy, I go to the gym. But this is where I do all my work. I see that tractor. You work on the, on the tractor? He said, man, I work on this tractor every day. Larry Bird work on a tractor? He said, yeah. It's just them two walking and talking, and every once in a while they'd stop and one of them would say something, and then they'd start laughing. Then they said, okay, break, it's lunch break time. I was going to my trailer. He said, no, my mother has prepared lunch for us up at the house. We went up to the house, and we sat down there, and we talked, and my mom, my brothers, thought the world of him. His mother was so nice, making sure I had enough to eat. I just saw my mother. It was crazy. He charmed her. You can see it. But that's magic. He makes everybody feel welcome and warm, and he's a con man. <laughs> and while magic charmed Georgia Bird, it was someone else who intrigued her son. He met Irvin at lunch. Irvin was a good dude. I like Irvin a lot better than magic. I was just so happy to finally be Irvin with him because Magic was like, I don't know if I want to get to know this guy. But Irvin got a chance to talk about family, how he grew up. We just, we just became two relaxed guys just talking. That day was great. It was a great day, beautiful day. Still for Bird, ever the competitor, that's all it was, just one day. Magic thinks the next year, Okay, well now we're great friends, so you know after the game we're gonna go out, we're gonna have a, a beer, and Larry's like, no, you're right. I know you better. You're a good guy, but I still don't want anything to do with you. He's a happy-go-lucky guy. If me and him got to be really good friends, go out on the court, he could still play the same game. I couldn't. I mean, that's just the way it is. But when the ad hit the airwaves, for others, the perception changed. I saw those limousines going through the cornfields, and I said, no. They didn't sell themselves out. I heard Converse made a pair of bird shoes for last year's MVP. Yep. But they made a pair of Magic shoes for this year's MVP. OK, Magic, show me what you got. Well, this is really a business thing. The bird shoe, the Magic shoe. And maybe that's where the business thing started to get bigger and began to trump who they both really were. 